is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, the only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You got to have heart. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. But your cell phone is more important to you than your success. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. Because I realized I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to I gotta breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you will never be successful in life. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Beyond measure. Beyond measure. If tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you give for today? What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself or the man that's beside you? Or the man that you know you'll give everything in your heart for? We get one opportunity in life, one chance in life to do whatever you're going to do, to lay your foundation, to make whatever mark you're going to make. Whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy. And it's found through effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. I don't know what to say, really. All comes down to today. We're in hell right now. We can stay here, get the shit out of us. Or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell, one inch at a time. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. People ask me all the time, they say to me, what is the secret to success? So rule number one is, of course, trust yourself no matter how and what anyone else thinks. And of course, rule number two is break the rules. We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. The rule number three, don't be afraid to fail. Rule number four, which is don't listen to the naysayers. And that brings me to rule number five, which is the most important rule of all. Work your butt off. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. I always believed 
leaving no stone unturned. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups, I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. That's the way it is with everything. No pain, no gain. Just remember, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in a pocket. Whatever path that you take in your life, you must always find time to give something back. Something back to your community, give something back to your state or to your country. This kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. You all know what you have to do. Remember, no one, and I mean no one, comes into our house and pushes us around.
and had not won the titles in 50 years.
we were still in it the whole time. Yeah. Y'all gotta be proud of what we do out there, man. Yes, I love y'all, man. man. We play hard we every did. time. We ain't gave nobody no games, man. I love this, man. I love being around y'all. I, re I would not want to win with that team for nothing. I'd rather lose with y'all every day of the week. I love every one of y'all. Y'all my brothers, man. And I love this, man. And, and it don't even matter that we lost. Because we fall hard the whole time. Because we didn't give them nothing, man. And you know what? There was some stuff they called on us that they could have called the other way. But you know what? We came out there and we did our thing. And we ain't going to let nobody take nothing from us. And we're going to playoffs next week. And guess what? We're going to go out there and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our yeah. pants on. We're going to put our pants on. And we're going to go out there and we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to yeah. line up and we ain't going to give nobody nothing. Senior, as we love this. Mike, get on knees. Real quick, everybody in here tight. Let this be a lesson that you take with you for the rest of your life. You just played in one of the greatest games, high school football games, that I think I've ever played. And you know what? You tell me. Did we win or lose? We won. We lost. We won. We won. We won. We won. Okay? We didn't make the play, but remember what I asked you to do. Never give up, play to the best of your ability, and remember it's possible. I thought we had the dead gum onside kick at the end, too. But you know what? Hey, we got better as a football team. I think we gained confidence tonight. And I think hopefully you guys can see, if we play like we're capable, we can beat anybody. Hey, hey, hey. A lot of things went on out there tonight, but you know what? We kept we, we, we stuck together as a football team. I, I'm so proud of you guys. And I know you're hurt. I know you're disappointed. I am too. You know, I don't like being five and five. You know what? That that you guys, I'm telling you, you got the heart of a champion. You do. And I know you're gonna hurt and all that, and I want you to cry and all that and be disappointed because you're champions, you're winners, and you don't like losing. But I'm telling you guys. You were winners tonight in my book. I'm very, very proud of you. I know the coaching staff's proud of you. We love you. And we care about you. And I don't hey, does anybody here want this to end? No. Let's get a prayer. Let's give thanks. Then we use this as a stepping stone in our lives uh, to learn from this, to learn uh, what this feels like, and uh, to not let it happen again. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for keeping everyone safe um, and healthy and uh, keeping cool heads tonight. And uh, thank you so much for it. Uh, we're so extremely blessed. We take it for granted every single day. Uh, but pray that we would now sit down and think about the opportunity that we had tonight and how much fun we got to have. Uh, so thank you so much for that. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Come on. Everybody Bring it up. up. Bring it up. Let's go, man. Be Skyline. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. Guys, I wish I could tell you it's going to be easy. I can't do that. The good things in life usually don't come easy. Focus, energy, control your attitude, control your effort, play together, play for each other, encourage each other, build each other up. If it is to be, it's up to me. Everybody say that. If it is to be, it's up to me. If it is to be, it's up to me. Whatever happens tonight, you take responsibility and accountability for what happens to be, it's up to me. You'll be responsible for what happens. You got to step up. You got to make big plays. You got to be the more disciplined team. You got to be the more physical team. And you got to play one play at a time. It's a process. You can't look at the scoreboard. It might come down to the very last play. Don't let up. Play every play like it's your last play because it very well could be this year. No matter what happens, we love you and we care about you. Let's get a prayer.
leaving the game of life. So here it is, another chance. Wide awake, you face the day. Your dream is over. Or has it just begun? Yeah.
to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. 